everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back at it again with another match reaction, guys. First of all, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. <sighs> and if you want to contribute to this channel, guys, Remember, you can always contribute via the link description as well, via PayPal, and also catch me on a live stream to send your send your super chat. But let's get straight into it, guys, because I am not in the mood. I am upset. You're upset. You're pissed off. It is Manchester United 1, Southampton 1. Manchester United dropping two points back-to-back -back again against Southampton. It's disappointing. We are not doing well in the Premier League. Will Manchester United get top four? This season in the Premier League, I don't know. And it's not looking likely right now. Manchester United in this game, just like the game against Burnley, we started off well in the first 45 minutes. Very good performance. And then again, just the same replica spit in image in that second half. In the first, four, first couple of minutes in the second half, Manchester United show exactly what they're made of. Sloppy. Lacking concentration, not able to finish off the game, not able to see a team out. You bunch of pussies. You bunch of pussies. You get me? You can't finish it up. You can't even finish your food off properly. You're struggling. Manchester United are letting us down. They're embarrassing us. That we're behaving like, I don't support that team in, in front of our own friends. That'd be like, don't you support Manchester United? Did you watch the game? I didn't watch it. I got nothing to do with that game. Man United, who? Who's that? I, I thought only Manchester City and Salford FC exist in Manchester. This is exactly the, the, what they're doing to us. We're starting to deny our team. Manchester United, horrible game overall. Horrible game for us Manchester United fans. The fact that the Manchester United fan booed 90 minutes when the full-time whistle blown, it said it all. It has been a, so far, it's been, it doesn't mean that great. Draws and wins. One loss compared, we're well, not that open, but it is not good enough. And it hasn't been. These players truly suck. Guys, you let me know what your thoughts of the game was. And also your man of the match and your donkey of the match in the comments. But in regards to that game, Manchester United started off with both teams as well, giving away the ball, giving away chances very easy in the first 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes, my mind was like, we need to score. Because so, so far, Southampton are the team that's actually having the better chances against Manchester United. Manchester United finally got the goal. Jaden Sancho scored a goal. Bruno with a lovely pass to find Marcus Rashford to run down the flanks for Marcus Rashford for, to, to throw in a delicious low cross to Sancho to tap in, which was a lovely finish. Manchester United leading the game. First 30 minutes. It was good. Manchester United were creating chances. But so, as well, we were conceding chances against Southampton. After Manchester United scored, I thought, Man United, level up. Step it up a gear. Kill this team. Stop playing with your food like a cat does when they play with their food, with the, well, especially with the lions. Love to play with our foods, and it will bite up up the, up the arse. And it did eventually. Of course, Manchester United got in, into the second half. It was nil-nil at half-time. Southampton... Could have scored, could have done things. They were causing us so much problems. Second half, Southampton straight away in the first couple of minutes. Boom, boom, go. Shea Adams scored an easy, easy, easy goal. Easy goal. Dallow was at four as well, losing in his man, not concentrating. Southampton slipping a nice pass in, nice free ball in for Shea Adams to finish off. And then after that, problems galore. Borja causing so much problem against Manchester United. He was causing trouble. The, the Chelsea loanee, F you. Hopefully, you know, when you go back to Chelsea, they'll give you opportunities. But that guy, Borja, was giving us so much problems. Guys, you let me know what you thought was, especially with Borja. Southampton got a good, very good player on their hand on loan. But again, Manchester United still unable to do anything after that. After, after that, the second half, we were so damn terrible, especially with the subs coming in, not having any effect, any impact. Lenga coming on, Jesse Linger coming on, right, which I thought, the, the substitution itself came very, very late. Full-time Manchester United won. 
Southampton won. Terrible game. Back to back, terrible game. That game on Monday, game on Tuesday, sorry, and the game today. Manchester United having 24 hours rest before beforehand with Southampton just only playing on Thursday. Terrible, just terrible. And it's just letting us Manchester United fans down. Manchester United fans booing full time, says it all. I don't know what Manchester United got, what they could say, what the players could say, because I don't want to run and hear it. In terms of players, Jaden Sancho had a very good first 45 minutes and then died down in the, in the second 45 minutes. Cristiano Ronaldo had a horrible game. Do you know what? I'm starting to see the problems, guys. I really am seeing the problems. Ronaldo couldn't pass, couldn't do much. Man of the match today, I'm going to have to give it to David De Gea because David De Gea saved us and kept us in the game. Do you agree or not agree, guys? Because that's my open, honest opinion. David De Gea saved us. If, if it wasn't for his great saves, we could have lost that game. Because Southampton deserved the point, probably deserved to win. We had chances, but donkey of the match got to go to the goal, the great one, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, unable to connect with his teams, unable to feed them. Losing the so damn easily. He's so damn eager to score that he's making mistakes and overthinking things. Again, in terms of leading the lines, he has been ineffective. And Ronaldo has been in bad form for a couple of games, five games, guys. You guys let me know who your man of the match was and also who your donkey of the match was. Manchester United, Alex, it is what it is right now. We are in bad form. Draws after draws. Ever since we've come back from our break, it has been a slow start for, for these players. And it's not looking good so far. We've got big games coming up, especially against Atletico Madrid. We've got another game coming up. Okay? We're just hoping that Manchester United can get some free points because right now, the top four is looking like a myth for us, guys. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction by Rory and Spice. Thank you guys for watching. Always remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and always remember you follow this official Instagram account, Red United TV, which you can see in the description and above there. And also follow me on Twitter as well. And also Instagram, personally, as you can see. Remember to subscribe. Remember to smash that like button. Remember to share, because sharing that Rory and Spice is caring. And if you want to contribute in the description, and as always, remember to check the link description to, where you can catch your clothes, your food, everything that's down there, and also your elite eyewear. But till next time, remember to keep it united. And also remember to keep it red united because your boy is out. Peace.